Welcome to this basic tutorial on how you can get started with Instadap platform. So today we'll take a look at how you can create an account in Instadap and how you can just start using it. But before continuing, make sure you have a browser wallet with, which has some users in it because we'll be finding a few transactions in the browsers. So in my case, I have, Meta, I have a MetaMask wallet. And if you do not have any browser wallet yet, you can get one easily by going to metamask.io but we won't be covering on how you can configure a metamask wallet because that's not in the domain of this video so we'll just get back to our internet platform and here it is showing me that connect an ethereum web3 wallet to access your DeFi smart account so we'll just hit connect to connect our metamask wallet and here it is showing me all the ways or all the wallets with which i can connect to the internet platform so since i have a metamask wallet i'll just connect with metamask and now it is showing me that the Web3 wallet has been connected. And since I do not have any DSA or DeFi smart account linked to my Ethereum account, it is asking me to create one. So I'll just create one by hitting on create your account. So this is just fire a transaction on my MetaMask. And here it is asking me for $1.76 of fees for the transaction to get confirmed. And now here, I would like to tell you an interesting thing about our Instadap platform, which is we do not charge any kind of fees from our users. So it is totally free to use our platform. And now just to, uh, now we'll just confirm the transaction to make a DeFi smart account. And here it is showing me that the transaction is pending. So we'll just wait for the transaction to get confirmed. So now it is showing me that my transaction just got confirmed and my account just got created. So I'll just reload the page. And so now here we are on the DSA dashboard and here you can see it's showing me my net worth, assets, debt, the owner of the DSA and the DSA address and option to add an authority or delete one and the token assets which I'm holding and if you're wondering why it is showing me zero dollars of net worth while I still have some ethers in my MetaMask wallet. That's because DSA's net worth and your ether, wallet, ether wallet's net worth are two different things. So to make any trades with DeFi smart accounts, you'll have to first transfer funds from your MetaMask wallet to your DeFi smart account. Then only you can make DeFi transactions using the DeFi smart account. So we'll just deposit some ethers from our MetaMask wallet to our DeFi smart account, let's say $0.01. And I'll just hit deposit. It will just fire a transaction to MetaMask. So I'll just hit confirm and wait for the transaction to get confirmed. So our transaction just got confirmed and here it is showing me that 0.01 ETH has been deposited. So I'll just reload the page. Now you can see that my net worth just rose to $2.49. And in the token assets, the Ethereum token, uh, Ethereum token asset just rose from $0 to $2.49. And now if you want to withdraw your token asset to the Ethereum wallet, you can just select the withdraw option and transfer your funds. So I'll just hit the $0.01 and hit the withdraw button. It will again fire a transaction, MetaMask. So I'll just hit confirm. And we'll again wait for the transaction to get confirmed. This time the transaction just confirmed instantly. So I'll just again reload the page. So again, my, man, my net worth is again $0. So it is showing me that my transfer was successful. And if you want to create any more DSAs, you can head over to this section and create new account for Create new DeFi uh, smart accounts. So that's it for the video. Thank you.